Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk about going through the airport security and on the airplane with diabetes equipment. So the question is, can you take your, your sensor, can you take your insulin pens and your needles and your lancets and all the little things that you need, your, your glucose meter and your, uh, your, 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 uh, your, for example, your, your uh, insulin pen, can you just take them easily through security? And uh, I have made a number of questions and I will address each of them. And at the end, I have also tips of where you can find the information on the internet. So the basic question is how to get through airport security with diabetes because the airport security is sort of like the main place where they check your stuff. So that's where you need to be prepared for uh, primarily. But by the way, also think about that you're not just leaving the airport that you might already know, but you also go to another country and they might have different rules and regulations. So, so you might want to check on it uh, there as well. The questions that I will answer in this video are the following. Can insulin go through an x-ray machine? Do you need to bag insulin pens or insulin cartridges into a special plastic bag? Are full body scans safe for sensors and pumps? Can insulin pumps go through an x-ray machine? Can sensors go through an x-ray machine? Do you need a letter from your doctor? And what should the letter say? So the first question is, can insulin go through the x-ray machine where you have your hand luggets? And the answer is yes. I could not find any information that says that it is not safe for your insulin. Now then the second question is, do you need to bag your insulin pens, uh, pens in these little plastic bags that they have? You know, these bags where you put your, your toothpaste and so on. And in principle, yes, because it is a liquid, so they should be bagged. Uh, if you look at the TSA guidance in the United States, it says also carry on bags. Yes. Uh, please let our officers know you have medically necessary liquids and place them in a bin separately for x-ray screening. Now the next question is, are full body scans safe for sensor and pumps? These are uh, these scanners where you go in and you stand in front of it with your hands out and so on like this person here on the photo uh, but uh, Dexcom generally explicitly advises against sensors to go through full body scans and Libra says they have not been tested in x-rays and I would say because some body scans might use x-rays uh, so you shouldn't take them in uh, the same is for the, the case for pumps although Omnipod the, com the company Omnipod or whatever company that is, the, ones, the, the company that makes Omnipod, Dash, they say that they can go through x-rays and body scans. So it's a little bit mixed story. So, the, so you might, might adjust that to what you have. So I want to show you that. Can I take the Omnipod Dash PDM through the x-ray machine at the airport? And it says yes. The Omnipod Dash and Pods can be treated in the same way as the Omnipod System PDM and pots at the airport, it's safe to go through the x-ray machine and the pots are safe to be worn through airport scanners. So that's actually uh, really good to know. Tandem, however, says full body scanners, no. Although the newer models of these scanners are not x-rays, we have not tested tandem pumps with these devices. We recommend requesting an alternate means of screening, pat down or disconnect at sight and ask for uh, hand inspection. Okay, so, and later I will show you some general advice from Diabetes UK, the main charity, what they say. But so with pumps, it's a little bit mixed story here. And it seems that it's not necessarily the case that the x-rays damage this, uh, this equipment, but that they haven't tested it. So that's why they want to play safe. Um, can insulin pumps go through the x-ray machine? So if you have a spare X, uh, pump or, or an Omnipod that you have in your hand luggage, can it go through? Well, it's a mixed story, right? We saw that Omnipod is fine, but I would say if you want to be safe and you don't know exactly, maybe you don't have an Omnipod, I would say just don't, them, don't take them through the uh, x-ray. The reason why I say that is because of this note from uh, Diabetes UK, 
They say many individual brands of insulin pumps and continuous glucose monitoring systems which are used to manage diabetes can be damaged if they pass through certain types of security screening equipment in airports, such as x-ray machines and whole body scanners. Extra care is therefore required when people with diabetes who use these devices pass through security screening at the airport. And actually they have a PDF that you can download about that and the link to this also is at the bottom of the video in the comments, section, you know, just above the comments. Um, can CGM sensors go through x-ray machines? Well, it's pretty much the same story. Dexcom advised against it. Libra says they have not been tested in x-rays. Uh, in practice, it might not be an issue, but if you want to be 100% safe, uh, better not. Because you need to ask yourself, well, why? how can it be that Omnipod, you know, is, is fine, but then the others are not? I mean, there is no, I would, I, I, you know, here I'm just speculating, right? But I assume that all this technology is the same, but don't take my word for it, but that's what I'm, I'm guessing. It's, it's some sort of like electronics. So why would an Omnipod be fine, but say a Freestyle Libra not? I, well, as they say themselves, they say we have, we just haven't tested it and we don't want to, to say something that we don't want to say it's safe if we haven't tested it. And I think that's a fair statement, right? Maybe Omnipod, they just have, They've tried it out and they said, well, it's fine. So it's actually good that they test it. It's actually quite nice. It would be nice as if these companies would test these things because people go through these x-ray machines, not just uh, in airports, but maybe also in, say, uh, large venues like uh, sports stadiums or whatever. Um, right, so do you need a letter from your doctor? And this is actually quite interesting, I think. If you don't want your stuff to go through the x-ray, so if you want basically uh, you know, a, a different way of screening, then security will ask you for a letter or from your doctor or for to see a prescription. So if you have that with you, you just make your life easier, right? They ask for it, you show it, they say, okay, fine. And then they, they help you. Um, in the UK, the government says you have to have documentation with you, uh, the UK government. I want to show that quickly. Uh, that's just a general point, not just about diabetes, but in general, they say you need a letter from your doctor explaining what the medications are for. Uh, and uh, that's, you know, for, for medical equipment such as needles or syringes. So, you know, you have needles and syringes with you often, but well, you will have to if you inject insulin. And also they say something, if you have to have uh, uh, more than 100 mils of uh, liquid medication, you need to check your airline. Now, typically the insulin pens, they, of course, they uh, have far less than 100 mils uh, in, in one pen. So, and I suppose they mean here 100 mil per item. So, so I, I think you, you should be fine with the insulin pens there. Um, what should the letter from the doctor say? Well, a couple of things. First of all, obviously who you are, your basic details, including your insurance number, maybe your address, your age. It should say which medications you have with you and what they're for, right, for diabetes. Um, which diabetes technology do you have with you? And it should say what can and cannot go through the x-ray, I suppose. You could just say, uh, this medication can go through the x-ray. I, I don't know how, how detailed these letters need to be uh, for this to, to work. I suppose if it's a very long letter, you know, if you think about the airport, right? So in, in practice, things go very quickly and they just probably want to see something from the letter. I'm, I'm, I don't know exactly how, well, how much time they would spend on, on reading all the details uh, and, and if they want to all take it apart, uh, maybe it's easiest if, if you just have one little bag or, or with your medication and your sensor and your pump in it and you just hand it to them and say, well, look, can't go through the x-ray, can you check it manually? And they go through it and then, okay, you get your stuff and that's fine then, I suppose. Uh, right, uh, a few final notes. Uh, here is, so in conclusion, right, so Okay, so here is what you best do, according to me, right? So as somebody who has traveled with diabetes through airports, this is what you probably, what I would recommend you to do. 
first of all, I would say get a letter from your doctor or medical team. Uh, make sure that the insulin and all your diabetes stuff is in your hand luggage. Don't put it in yours like main big suitcase that, that is being checked separately. Now at the airport, you know, when you go to security, it's always really busy there. Uh, when you when you're waiting in line, when you, just before you go into this 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 area where you need to put your luggage on the uh, you know on the benches, then then say oh you can there's always somebody waiting, and you can say well look I have diabetes, uh, show them the letter and say I, I can't take this stuff, I can't go through the full body scanner and my stuff can't go through the X-ray, and then you show the letter and they say and then they will just take care of you. Uh, also, you might show them the medical equipment awareness card. I haven't mentioned that, but there is a special sort of like card that you can get as a card, but also you can print it out and the link is below the video that you can print out and bring with you that says uh, for staff in airports that you work, uh, what, what the rules and regulations are. That's quite nice. I would also say take the medication equipment out of your hand luggage when you're waiting there. So you have your hand luggage that you need to, that needs to be scanned, right? Maybe you have a, whatever, you know, your, your notebook, your, your laptop or whatever you have. In your hand luggage, maybe some sandwiches, of course, that goes then uh, in the scanner uh, through the X-ray, and then you have maybe a little bag with your uh, your your stuff in it, right? And your 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 insulin pens or or your your, your pump, your 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 needles and so on. And you say, well, this can't go uh, through the X-ray. Can you please manually check it? And then they do that. So if you have that in a little convenient little bag, that that makes your life easier uh tell them not to take it through the x-ray right? so that's that's really that's the whole point so uh a few final notes uh you know always take enough spare medication and sensors with you i mean that is something that even if say for example you go on on a three-day trip and you might say well my sensor lasts for two weeks why would they take a spare with me well once you're on holidays or on a business trip and the sensor for some reason fails and uh, might never happen but then it, these things they can happen occasionally they can happen right so so you need to be sensible there and 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 i would say take take a spare with you so that because actually these things they can be hard to get if you're on a holiday address uh, or in the weekend or in the evening also of course always take some glucose tablets with you in your pocket especially at the airport you know you need to walk around uh, there might be a you, you that sometimes walking through the airport takes more energy than you probably think so be prepared take your glucose tablets with you also i would recommend to wear a diabetes bracelet or id card you can get them on amazon or you know they're they're special uh also on the internet uh you can find um you know small businesses that make these they're, they come in different shapes and forms so look that up and uh i would also say on your on your uh, phone, you know, maybe on your home screen. So, so I know with Android, you can put uh, an emergency number, for example, on the home screen. So people do not need to unlock your phone to see the emergency number of a family member. And uh, that's it. And then, of course, enjoy your trip. And if you like videos like this, please um, subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, please like it because that makes it easier for YouTube to recommend this video to other people like yourself.